Hey there, it's Sam Conan from samconan.com. I have a quick tech tip for you today. Uh, I switched to uh, Mac, to a Mac platform about three years ago, and I'm still getting up to speed on how all of everything works. And the other day, I needed to find um, a font and install it into my computer. And uh, it was actually a Google Fonts uh, font, and I was able to find it there and uh, figure out how to download it and, and add it across my entire system. So I wanted to share that method with you today. Uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this is simply because uh, Google Fonts, um, Google makes a, a huge font repository. There are a lot of great fonts available, and knowing how to access them uh, and install them into your computer can really help you with your productivity. So you can find the fonts at google.com slash fonts. Let me go over there. And you can scroll through here uh, and see there are hundreds and hundreds of fonts. If you are looking for a particular phrase, um, like I used one of their fonts to help me get my, uh, my logo uh, squared away, you can type that text in there. You can change the, the size, and you can see what it looks like in lots of different fonts. The particular font that I was looking for, and this is a great one that you might want to install on your computer, uh, is Cabin Sketch. Um, you'll see this uh, in a couple days when I, a couple weeks probably when I release some videos, but I use this in a, in a, a webcast that I was doing, or a video cast, a video course that I was doing. So here's the font that I want to install, Cabin Sketch. Uh, to get it onto my, to download it, I click Add to Collection, and then I go up here and click this arrow, and then I have an option to download it as a zip file. So that's what I want to do. Comes down really quickly. Uh, show it in the finder. If you're using Safari, it'll come down into your downloads uh, folder. You want to unzip this. Um, okay. So now we can see here the contents of the cabin sketch folder. There are these uh, two TTF files. These are two different fonts, and we want both of them. And, but we don't want to, we want to uh, copy this entire folder. Okay, so we'll hit uh, Control C to copy it. And then we want to put these into our library folder. The library folder is actually hidden by default on your computer, on your Mac. Uh, and the reason it's hidden is because it's a, it's the, a repository of code that um, is necessary for your computer to work correctly. If you get in there, it's kind of the brain. Uh, one of the brains of your computer, and if you get in there and start messing things up, your computer is not going to work well anymore. But to find the library uh, folder, what we do is hold down the Option key and then click on Go, and keep holding down the Option key, and then click on Library. And here are all of the library folders. And as I said before, we don't you don't want to start messing around in here unless you really know what you're doing, uh, <laughs> which is why I'm doing this tutorial. But we want to scroll down until we find uh, the fonts folder. Click on fonts, and you can see I've uh, installed three other fonts here. These are all uh, interesting ones, IndieFlower, Quattro Sans, uh, Quattro Centro Sans is a good one. And then we want to, inst we want to uh, paste, control V, paste our cabin sketch uh, in here. Um, and actually I've done this before. So I want to rename that just cabin sketch. Okay, and that's it. Uh, then we can close this out. And we can close this. And then when we open up uh, Word, or actually any any uh, program on your Mac that uses uh, has a font list, uh, we'll open up Keynote. Um, so you will open up Pages here. Working on a project there. Um, so we'll open up just a blank document. And you can see if you go to uh, if you go to your fonts here. We go, scroll down. There's Cabin Sketch, our newly installed font. Now let's just show you what it looks like really fast. Uh, there's Cabin Sketch, and then we go Cabin Sketch Bold. It doesn't look like much here, but if we use them as headings, you can see. They're a little more interesting. So that's it. You can uh, so go uh, 
check out Google Fonts. Find your favorite fonts. Go crazy. Uh, don't I wouldn't install too many, uh, just because you a lot the, a, a lot of the fonts have very minor differences. Um, uh, here's Indie Flower, another one of my favorites. Just using it for um, presentations and especially keynote presentations. It's really helpful. It's a kind of a fun font, and you'll see those in, in a product I'm working on for you all uh, in, a, in a couple weeks. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you soon.